as we are reaching the end of our passage, I thought of making a video about how we dressed for going out in the zodiacs in ice and snow and very heavy winds. So of course, first I start by wearing my normal underwear and on top of my regular underwear, I have this pair of thermal inners. Whether you wear one inner or sometimes we wear double inner depends on how much is the wind forecast and how long we expect to be outside. When the winds were very strong and it was snowing, we were often wearing double inners and on top of double inners also one more layer of a trouser or jeans and a shirt on top. But for all the regular outings where the wind speed was normal, we were comfortable with just the regular underwear and then one pair of inners on top. After wearing the thermal inners, I put on a layer of merino wool socks that go almost up to my knee. This ensures that I already have a double layer in my lower legs and that is the part which is going to enter the chilled water and also when walking in the ice and snow that is the part which really tends to freeze so i already have a double layer down there on top of the inner and merino wool socks i am wearing woolen trousers and a woolen shirt so this is giving an additional layer over the legs and an additional layer over the chest on top of the woolen trousers i am wearing these snow trousers which are waterproof impermeable trousers with a fleece lining inside them so what do i have on my legs i first have the normal and regular underwear then i have the thermal then i have the merino wool socks then i have a woolen trouser and on top of this i have another trouser which is waterproof on the outside and a fleece lining on the inside so the legs already have four coverings so these boots you do not need to buy the ship on which you will go to antarctica will issue you these boots and these are very heavy snow and waterproof boots so to put on these boots i fold up my snow snow pants I make tight the woolen trouser and then put my feet inside the boot so that the woolen trouser goes inside the boot. And then I bring the snow trouser on top and close the zipper. So here again, open the zipper on the side, fold the snow trouser, make tight the woolen trouser and my foot inside these boots. The boots also come right up to the knees and now you can see the lower part of the legs which is going to go into the water and on which I am going to be walking on the snow and ice already has five layers including one waterproof layer which is provided by the rubber boot and the second waterproof layer provided by the snow trousers. Now, depending on how strong the wind outside is, I might choose to wear another sweater on top of this shirt. But for a regular outing, all I will do is to put this waterproof heavy jacket, which is rated up to 10,000 mm waterproof rating on top. So this I will close So zip up Close the buttons on top So you already are putting on a double layer on top
Now on top of this, I need to get rid of my glasses first and then I put on the balakava. So this balakava, I need to make sure goes inside the jacket. And zip up the jacket to the top, close the button. Make sure that balakava cannot come out. Remember the balakava gives you the warmth. It does not give you waterproof layering. So it has to really go inside your waterproof uh, jacket. Otherwise the snow will make it wet and then you would be very cold. On top of this, I would wear my snow bubble so. Now here, you need to ensure that balakava is not coming under the uh, waterproof layering of the snow bubble and under the sponge part of the snow bubble. Because that is where air circulation is required so the goggles do not fog. If the balakava gets stuck under the goggles, your goggles are going to fog and you will not be able to see anything. So on top of this now I will cover with the hood of the jacket to have the additional waterproof layering on top on the head. And then I put on my gloves which are also waterproof. I would often put double layer of gloves which is one layer of thin gloves which have a system for operating the touch screen so when I need to operate touch screen I can still operate touch screen with the inner gloves and after wearing these inner gloves I wear the outer waterproof gloves which gives me a complete waterproof protection from head to toe. Now there is no skin exposed and when there is snow blowing from the front, all I need to do is to cover my head and bring up the balakava to cover my nose also. And this way, we have stayed outside for several hours in heavy wind, blowing snow and even in a mini blizzard. And of course, when you need to walk, you need to have these sticks which you can adjust according to your height and you walk with these sticks in your hand. Now is the time to put on my camera bag. So this is the bag on in which I carry my camera. So I put this camera bag on, put my camera inside, close it. And then I need to wear the life jacket. So life jacket goes on here. Once you have put on the life jacket, you need to connect the lower any backpack that you might have then goes on top of this and then my layer of waterproof gloves and then the sticks in my hand for walking up and down the hill so this is the complete gear you will need if you are planning a travel to Antarctica.